Welcome to a journey that's about to shake the very foundations of our understanding of the universe. Picture this. It's July 3rd, 2025, deep inside the sprawling tunnels of CERN, where the Atlas Detector, a marvel of human engineering, hums with the energy of particle collisions. Suddenly, at 2.27 a.m., the control room lights up with alerts. A young physicist, barely a year into leading the night shift, stares at her screen, heart pounding. The data streaming in isn't just unusual, it's impossible. A 7.5 sigma anomaly, a 1.8 tera electron volt energy gap, and a bizarre triple muon pattern that defies every rule in the book. The odds of this happening by chance? 1 in 300 trillion. That's like flipping a coin and getting heads 50 times in a row, then doing it again, and again, and again. This is the 3IE Atlas event, and it's not just a blip. It's a cosmic signal that could rewrite physics as we know it. So, buckle up, hit that like button, and let's dive into the mystery of the 3IEATLAS anomaly, a moment that has the world's top scientists questioning everything. Let's start with the stage. C-E-R-N, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, nestled beneath the Swiss-French border. It's home to the Large Hadron Collider, or LHC, a 27-kilometer ring that smashes particles together at nearly the speed of light. The Atlas Detector, one of the LHC's crown jewels, is like a giant digital camera capturing the subatomic debris of these collisions. It's designed to spot the tiniest hints of new physics, particles or forces that could explain the universe's deepest mysteries like dark matter or the nature of gravity. On that fateful night in July 2025, Atlas didn't just capture data, it recorded a cosmic anomaly that sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The event, dubbed 3IEATLAS, wasn't just a statistical outlier, it was a scream from the universe demanding attention. To understand why, we need to unpack what makes this event so extraordinary, starting with the numbers that have physicists losing sleep. The 3IEATLAS event is defined by a 7.5 sigma deviation. In particle physics, sigma measures how confident we are that a result isn't just random noise. A 5 sigma result with odds of 1 in 3.5 million is the gold standard for a discovery, like when the Higgs boson was confirmed in 2012. But 7.5 sigma? That's a probability of 1 in 300 trillion, a number so vanishingly small it's hard to grasp. Imagine picking one specific grain of sand from all the beaches on Earth, then doing it again blindfolded. That's the kind of rarity we're talking about. The event showed a 1.8 tera electron volt energy gap, energy that was produced in the collision but vanished without a trace. And then there's the triple muon pattern. Three muons, heavy cousins of electrons shooting out at bizarre angles. 17 degrees, 43 degrees, and 91 degrees with a missing energy vector tilted 36 degrees above the beam line. These angles and energies don't align with any known particle or process in the standard model, the framework that's guided physics for decades. It's as if the universe handed us a puzzle with pieces that don't fit any known picture. To appreciate the weight of this moment, let's step back to the control room at CERN that night. The shift leader, Dr. Elena Marquez, a 32-year-old physicist from Barcelona, was in her first year commanding the ATLAS console. She'd trained for years to spot anomalies, but nothing prepared her for this. When the alerts flashed, she froze for a split second before slamming the red banner protocol, locking the event data for immediate review. Her team, a mix of seasoned researchers and bleary-eyed grad students, scrambled to their stations. The room buzzed with tension as monitors displayed the event's digital fingerprint, a triple muon signature with a gaping energy hole. They ran diagnostics. Could it be detector noise? Cosmic rays? A software glitch? One by one, every mundane explanation fell apart. The data was clean, the signal unmistakable. By dawn, encrypted alerts had reached every major physics lab on Earth. This wasn't just a strange result, it was a potential crack in the standard model, the theory that explains how particles like quarks, electrons, and photons interact to form the universe. 
The standard model is a triumph of human intellect, a mathematical map that's predicted particles and forces with stunning accuracy. It's why your phone works, why stars shine, why matter holds together. But it's not perfect. It doesn't explain dark matter, which makes up 27% of the universe's mass or dark energy driving the universe's expansion. It struggles with gravity at the quantum level. And now, the 3 IEATLAS event suggests it's missing something big. The 1.8 tera electron volt gap sits in a region where the standard model predicts nothing. No particles, no resonances, just silence. Yet there it was, a signal so strong it couldn't be ignored. The triple muon tracks with their wild angles added to the mystery. Let's explore the first theory on the table. Supersymmetry, or SUSY. Supersymmetry proposes that every particle in the standard model has a heavier superpartner, a mirror image that could solve mysteries like dark matter. If a heavy supersymmetric particle decayed in the ATLAS detector, it might produce muons and leave a missing energy signature as lighter particles escape detection. At MIT, Dr. Wei Nuon, a leading theorist, ran simulations of a SUSY cascade, a chain reaction of decays. But even the most optimistic models predicted an event like this only once in 100 trillion collisions, far too rare to explain 3 IEATLAS. The angles of the muons didn't quite fit either, and the energy gap was too precise. Susie, a darling of theoretical physics for decades, was stretched to its limit. The team didn't give up, but the numbers were clear. Supersymmetry alone couldn't account for this anomaly. It was a humbling moment, a reminder that nature doesn't always follow our best guesses. Another possibility came from Caltech, where theorists dusted off a radical idea from the late 1990s, extra dimensions. Proposed by Lisa Randall and Raman Sundram, the randall sundram model imagines our universe as a brain, a three-dimensional membrane floating in a higher dimensional space. Gravity, unlike other forces, could leak into these extra dimensions, diluting its strength in our world. A particle called a Kaluza Klein graviton, a messenger of gravity in higher dimensions, could appear in high energy collisions with a mass around 1.8 tera electron volts, exactly where the 3 IEATLAS gap sits. The missing energy vector, angled 36 degrees above the beam line, fits this scenario like a glove energy slipping into an unseen dimension, leaving only muons as clues. Think of it like water swirling down a drain, vanishing from sight but leaving ripples behind. The Caltech team's simulations showed an uncanny match. The resonance, the angular spread, the energy gap all aligned with a graviton's footprint. If true, this would be the first evidence that our universe is just a slice of a much larger reality. But there's another contender. The dark photon, a hypothetical particle that could bridge our world to a hidden dark sector. Dark photons are like regular photons but interact weakly with normal matter slipping through detectors like ghosts. At CERN and Fermilab, a joint task force modeled a dark photon with a mass of 1.8 tera electron volts and a coupling constant of 0.001, a tiny but measurable link to the standard model. In this scenario, the dark photon could decay into muons, producing the triple muon pattern while carrying energy away into the dark sector, explaining the missing 1.8 tera electron volt gap. The angles, 17 degrees, 43 degrees, 91 degrees, matched simulations of rare decays where the dark photon mixes with standard model particles. If confirmed, this would open a window to a shadow universe, a realm of particles and forces that shape reality without ever touching our world directly. It's a thrilling idea, but the task force was cautious. A single event, even one this strong, needs more data to confirm such a profound claim. Now, let's address a wild card in this story. The connection to 3 I slash ATLAS, the interstellar comet discovered just two days before the 3 IEATLAS event. Harvard's A.V. Loeb, never one to shy away from bold ideas, pointed out something curious. The comet, named 3i slash ATLAS, follows a trajectory aligned within 5 degrees of the ecliptic plane with a probability of just 0.2% for such precision. 
It also passes unusually close to Venus, Mars, and Jupiter, with a combined probability of 0.005%, like rolling cosmic dice and getting snake eyes three times in a row. Loeb suggests this alignment, combined with the comet's unusual properties like a lack of a traditional cometary tail, might hint at something more than a natural object. Could it be a probe engineered to navigate our solar system? And could its timing, just days before the ATLAS anomaly, suggest a connection? Most scientists dismiss this as speculative, but Loeb's numbers are hard to ignore. The comet's path, like the 3 IE event's energy gap, defies easy explanation. For now, it's a coincidence, but one that adds intrigue to an already mind-bending mystery. So, where do we go from here? The Atlas team is analyzing every collision since July 2025, hunting for similar events. The LHC is running at peak capacity, smashing protons to generate more data. Telescopes worldwide are tracking 3I-ATLAS, the comet, for any clues that might tie it to the particle anomaly. Scientists like Elena Marquez, Wei Nuan, and others are working overtime, driven by the thrill of discovery and the weight of its implications. If the 3IE event points to extra dimensions, we're on the cusp of understanding the universe's hidden structure. If it's a dark photon, we're peering into a shadow realm that could explain dark matter. And if Loeb's wild theory holds any water, we might be looking at evidence of something far stranger. This is why space and particle physics captivate us. They push the boundaries of what we believe is possible. The 3 IEATLAS event isn't just a data point. It's a story of human curiosity, of machines peering into the subatomic void, of a universe that refuses to play by our rules. It's a reminder that we're still students of the cosmos, learning with every unexpected signal. So, what do you think? Is this the dawn of a new physics, a glimpse into extra dimensions, or something even wilder? Drop your thoughts in the comments, hit that like button, and subscribe for more deep dives into the mysteries of the universe. The 3IE Atlas event has opened a door and we're just beginning to step through.